Hello, Scorpio. Scorpio, you have the Nine of Wands. There is someone here that is hoping something is going to work out okay or go in their favour. They don't want to argue or fight anymore. They're hoping that any bad feelings can be put behind behind you. They want to heal things with you. But they're unsure or they're differing. You know, they're they're not, they're not sure whether to contact you or not. This is what I'm getting. Someone is hesitating about whether to contact you or not. I feel this is, yeah, this is someone that wants to heal things with you. And they're very hesitant about coming forwards. They can't make up their mind about whether to contact you or not. They really want to. They want to talk to you. They want to communi communicate with you. They're trying to weigh things up. They're wondering whether it's a good thing to contact you and talk to you. They really want to. But they're just undecided about whether to make that move towards you. This is what I am really picking up strongly here on this top row. You have the Eight of Cups. So some of you, this, this could be an X, you know. Yeah, I definitely feel this is an X now. <laughs> Got the Ace of Wands. The Hermit. The sun. Yeah, this this is a reading that's uh, very strong, strongly to do with an ex. For you scorpions out there, this is definitely an ex reading. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Um, yeah. So I feel for for, for those of you who, who are interested. In the next reading, yeah, this is definitely a next reading. So this this person here who's thinking of or hesitating to contact you definitely wants to heal things with you. They definitely want to communicate with you. They they walked away. They walked away. They are regretting it. Definitely regretting it. They know they left left your heart broken. They made mistakes. I feel with those cups still standing, um they made mistakes because they still love you. And there's still feelings here. A lot of passion as well, yeah. Ace of Wands, they definitely Definitely want another chance with you. Yeah, this is what I'm really strongly picking up here. You may not be talking to each other. You may not have spoken to each other. There may be, there may be radio silence between both of you. Maybe a very, a very fragile situation where you have stopped talking to each other completely. But they, they want to communicate with you. They really do. They want to break that silence. 
I've got the sun here, which is Leo energy. Let's see what other cards you have. They're thinking about a period of time when they were happy with you and they feel that they could be happy with you again. They made mistakes, very bad mistakes. And they're seeing, they're seeing, seeing them in, in, in full reality now. They're seeing their mistakes in, in the full light now. You had the magician. This is Gemini Virgo energy. The judgment card. That's Scorpio energy. That's your energy. Six of Swords. And the Hierophant, Taurus energy. This is, I feel, action being taken towards you, the Magician. They're going to use every means possible to try and make this happen. They're going to try everything they can to make it happen. They are going to take action towards you. They have been hesitating. They have been really anxious about contacting you because it's been a while and you haven't spoken to this person for ages maybe for a while they walked away from you they made some terrible mistakes but they are going to do everything in their power to try and make this happen they are going to take action towards you because you're Scorpio this is your energy they want a second chance with you Scorpio they want a second chance with you. And you will have a big decision to make, Scorpio. Definitely, you'll have the decision will be with you as to whether you give this person another chance. Whether you want to move to calmer waters. Whether you can put the past behind you and forgive this person for whatever they've done to you it may be a hard thing to do you know maybe certain things may be unforgivable for some of you some of you may not be able to forgive you know some of you may have maybe trying to move on you know maybe some of you just can't heal the heal from you know or move on from the pain that this person caused you you know it's everyone's different but they're hoping that you can move forwards they can move forwards with you and that they, they they can heal the past with you got the hierophant card of commitment This is a card of commitment, a card of marriage. I think they see their future with you. They had to learn a harsh lesson to see that really their future is with you. They feel like they want to their future to be with you they want a com to make a commitment to you they may even make a big gesture for some of you you know maybe that will be just too much too soon for some of you um you may want to take it really slowly but um they will want to show that they're very committed 
that they're very serious. This this could just simply mean that they're very committed and very serious about wanting another chance with you. This this is simply what this could mean. Let's get another card out for you. Yeah, the Empress card represents relationships, growth. I do definitely do see a future with you. You definitely represent uh well, you mean an awful lot to this person. You are their empress. They see you as a very loyal, loving person, very attractive, very talented. Honourable, kind, supportive, loyal, you know, everything that they could want in a person. This is how they see you and this is the person they want to spend their future with. Let's get you out some love oracle cards to wrap this up and the Empress is combination of Taurus and Libra energy. Photograph. Looking at your photos, missing you in nostalgia. Yeah, see, they definitely miss you. There's no doubt about it. They're looking at your photographs. They're missing you. Camera. They're definitely looking at your photographs and looking, you know, searching their memory, thinking about the past, thinking about the awful mistakes they made with you. Really full of regret. Full of regret. Soulmates. I've seen you as a soulmate now. They've seen you as their soulmate. Huh, they've got twin flame as well. Yin, yang, zen, balance. Yeah, co compliment. They think, yeah, so, you know, it could be a case of a twin mate, a twin flame uh, union. This, you know, like, because um, sometimes when, with a twin flame union, there's always... Um, uh, one person in this union that needs to grow up more emotionally has to play catch up, you know. Um, one person is emotionally mature and ready where the other person isn't, you know. That could be a situation here and that's the reason why, you know, this person is just coming around and realising that you are the one for them, you know. That could be a situation for some of you. And you've got a coffee cup as well. Yeah. So I, I believe that when this person finally um, plucks up the courage to um, finally contact you, I, I do believe that this person will want to meet up with you and have a serious conversation with you. Definitely. So that was your reading, Scorpio. Please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. Take care everyone. Bye.